we have to let them see us and see all the fans that support us all throughout the whole season. And we love to get back and try to give us as much support we can to love to those people out there that support us through the tough times when we're winning and when we're losing. You feel a little bit off their energy? Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Definitely. When you come into games, you know the arena's there, and if you ever get down and you make a run or you got a big lead and the crowd's into it, it makes a lot of excitement. It makes you want to give the extra push. What do you guys take away from yesterday? Obviously, what the NBA team Oh, well, you know, it made, it made us do a lot of communicating, a lot of talking, uh, because they ran a lot of sets, and we got back to playing our defense the way we wanted to. We still gave a lot of points at the end, but we played the way we wanted to, running them off threes, and, and, and not knowing those guys' game plan, we did a pretty good job. John, can you say what you worked hardest on in the offseason coming into the season? Huh? What part of your game you worked hardest on in the offseason? Uh, just post us really shooting floaters, you know. I can shoot the three ball. I just got to know how to take great shots. You know? I mean, in the quarters I tell you, like the half court I just took, I'll probably take yeah. three a game. That was dropping my percentage and stuff like that. So I just taking a better shot selection with those, but other than that, just posting up and shooting floaters. That's so how you made that one for the bench, too. Yeah, I tried to. <laughs> how far are you guys? How far are you to where you think you need to be for the regular season? Are you 75%, 80 percent? Yeah, you. I don't know. I'm still getting there. You know, I mean, I'm doing the extra work and all that to get there, and that's why I like playing these games and trying to give me more reps of going up and down game speed you know, without getting breaks and just going continuous minutes with the plan. So you know I mean, I don't know exactly where I'm at, but I'm getting closer and closer. Was Josh making threes like that when you were previously? Yeah, he was making threes in college. We just didn't play him as much because we had the markets and Daniel that back. So it was kind of tough to get playing time, but he can always shoot the ball. How would you evaluate where you guys are at three games into the preseason, well, and what do you want to work on? Is your offense, you're going to have ups and downs. You're going to make shots. You're going to be playing well. You're going to move the ball. When we're not doing that, we got to keep our defense at a high intensity and high level. And that's something we did last night. We did a great job. But against the Knicks, we didn't do it. Uh, so coaches want us to get back to giving our ball pressure that we usually do. And we did a better job of that of deflections and, and, and causing them to have turnovers. Y'all went through this last season with the preseason. Did you not? Like, y'all kind of sluggish at times. Or exactly right. It took a while. Things turned out well when the real season started. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be like that at times, especially when you got a new system that guys just getting involved. I mean, it's an easy system, but you got to get trust the guys. know it's going to be 15 to 20 extra shots. It's going to be guys that's going to get the extra shot. The ball got to move. But the most important thing is just being in condition and play defense on the other end. That's our key. No matter if we had great offense and ice or bad offense and ice, we committed ourselves on defense. And that's something we got to train our bodies to get ready for. But with all the running, how do you anticipate making sure you get you guys like on low energy to have well, you know a good season? You know, uh, well, I think you know, our, our bench is deeper, so that helps us out a lot. When those guys are playing well, we can sit out and let those guys keep rolling. But it also, like, we do a great job at practice. If we get our jobs done early, we don't have to practice for two two hours in a row of going at that type of speed. And that's when your body starts to wear down. And so we're doing our job and committing ourselves on the practice floor that will prepare us more for the games. Gary mentioned that uh, the new system is pick up with principles. Do, do you see that mm -hmm. similar pick up? He called it pick up with principles. You do offensive it's system. Young guy, do never get to corners in the little boxes that we draw up and then just make reads and plays off that. If that's too hard, then I don't know what else to say. <laughs> what do you think in terms of uh, Nene coming off the bench? What does he look like in terms of physically this time as opposed to I mean, everybody, I think everybody's physical is better, but we're still trying to get to another level that we feel like we need to be in the system. But I think it's just exciting for him because he's, it gives him a lot more space. I mean, when we had two bigs, it was kind of plotted in there where nobody can make moves and make reads. And he's a heck of a passer, so it spreads the floor for him to make reads and also finish when he has opportunity. What, what have you seen out of Gary Neal this, this camp? Uh, well, we already know what he does. He can shoot the ball very well, but he also surprised me. He can put the ball on the floor and make plays or everybody else if he have to. But uh, that's something we need somebody that can stretch the floor, but also make passes and make reads out of the pick and roll. Do you anticipate him playing a lot with you? Uh, it depends. You know, the coaches does his ranking things from time to time, and sometimes I don't might go to the four. You never know how it might go, and Brad can move to the three. So we'll see. John, you guys had a lot of guys on one like last year in the contest. Yep. Um, how do you, just as you guys, how, how do you kind of bring everyone together? And, and, and just, you know, uh, boy, like, you know, playing for the contract. Thing. I just tell them I'm going to help them get paid, and the rest of my team is going to help them get paid like we did in the past. So if they watch and see how we did in the past, they will be perfectly fine. You know what I mean? You just come in and play your role, take open shots, and uh, you can find yourself getting another contract without having to worry about how many shots and how many minutes you make. Jorge wrote a really good article the other day about your leadership. How do, how do you see personally your, what have you adjusted over the years, you know, coming into your year? Like specifically, what do you think that you've done differently well, as everything. a leader? Totally everything. I mean, I came out, I didn't say nothing. I just led by example because I was already number one pick. I didn't want to feel like I was stepping on anybody's toes. But now my teammates are trusting, they believe in me with the ball and everything I do. Uh, I can take the criticism just like I give it to those guys. And that's the most important, knowing how you can talk to certain guys in different ways. We see Josh, your threes, 
behind the scenes in the practice and all that? How, how they doing that? Well, he, he does good, you know what I mean? He, he got the, he played center for Kentucky that year when they went to the final four, I think he left. Uh, he, he's strong, he can guard in the post. But the good thing is he always does the little things. He's not trying to block shots and take charges, helping. Uh, he just knows the, the little Christmas you need as a guy that's not super athletic. But he gives you extra effort on the other end because he can shoot the ball so well. We haven't seen Jared. Yeah, yeah. How different? Well, I mean, he's gonna be big. Jared can shoot the ball very well, but he just knows. He has a great IQ, he knows how to play defense. He knows how to do the little things that can help our team. So I think he's gonna be a key. Actually, be to our team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.